ice searing heat mask. Works with the ice mask, but that's the same damage type, so not as juicy. Mm -hmm. All right, so this puzzle. The mushroom puzzle. Bang! Ooh, what's that? Spitting picture of my face. I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, I think the settings for volume got changed. No, that's right. It feels a way louder than I think it's supposed to be. Let's bring uh, sound effects down a little bit, because the gunshot was a little loud there. Alright, so... This puzzle. I think this game has very good puzzles, very good level design, a lot of very good things going on. But then you have this puzzle, and this puzzle's no good. So we talk to this guy. I invited Amanita Falodis to dinner. Alas, I find myself dining alone. I'm afraid the death cap will be thrown to the pigs. So every time we talk to him, he gives us the name of a mushroom and then its common name. On the wall, we have harmless names, Blusher, Morel, and Shiitake. And ah! Uh, God damn it. And then we have deadly names. How many? Alright, good. You would think the solution to this puzzle is eat only the harmless mushrooms. But we did that and nothing happened. And at that point I was at a loss because what the fuck you're supposed to do. Thankfully, good old Zabatsu in chat has played this game and told me that this is a stupid puzzle and it's not the kind of thing you could solve using smarts. And I was like, alright, in that case, let me know. The solution's just eat every mushroom on the table. You must eat every single mushroom. And that's just dumb. That's just silly. Eat the mushroom. It's a safe mushroom. This is a dangerous mushroom. So I might as well just eat, like, the safe ones first. That's a safe one. Eat it. So now we have to eat the poison mushrooms. And that's just dumb. Ugh, I don't feel good. So, that poisons me. Trying to remember if we're poisoned and also in caution. There we go. We'll just do a poison cure and a minor heal. Eat this one. Oh. Now we're poisoned and very bad off. What if you alternate between the good and bad? I did that last time, and it didn't make a difference. <laughs> it was... This is the one bad puzzle. Oh, come on! I didn't notice the trap above my head. This is just a resource hog of a room. You just... You lose resources doing this. Uh, and that one just puts us in critical, so we'll take a big potion. So now that we've eaten all the mushrooms, doesn't matter what order you eat them in. He thanks us for dining with him. He opens his head up. The little mushroom boy appears. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. What do you wish for? Oh, you want a better handgun? Okay. And there we go. Gun improved. It's not even a puzzle. Since you know when you get poisoned from the UI, exactly. Like, again, I think this game has been phenomenal so far in terms of puzzles and, like, design and ambience. And then this room ruins it. It is a completely optional room. Like, I didn't even notice that we had missed this room because it was locked earlier and it unlocks as progression happens. Never have to do this room. But I'm gonna because, like, I'm the kind of person that's gonna do every room. Because it's also a nice uh, game. We found if you are diligent, if you do all the puzzles, you write down all the different key codes and you solve everything, you could unlock a special map that shows you where treasure is. So like I'm going to go through and I'm going to solve all the puzzles and get all the treasure. No way, I'm not going to do that. So we don't have a tool for the toilet yet. That red X down there. That door's locked with a golden key, so that's two X's in there we can't solve. 
We just finished the mushroom. Theater requires we find acid. We haven't found acid yet. I don't understand. The dungeon is circled. That means there's a secret in there. And then there's that red X above the dungeon. I don't understand that room. In that I literally don't understand how it's a room. I have yet to figure out what the hell it means. So if chat, we want to put our brains together, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I do not know how it functions as a room. But the map is sure getting crowded with monsters and traps. <laughs> For instance, that looks like a box of ammo, but it's purple. That means it's a trap. That, they, they try and get you. That'll explode if I try and pick that up. God, another poison trap. I didn't even notice that one. Yeah, it's getting it's getting mighty crowded with traps. Step on you. Four bullets left. You know what? I'm in okay condition. Shotguns loaded. So this is an elevator. We can go that way now, but I want to finish all the puzzles up top first. No, 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 no. Run past it. Run past Poison Crow. You son of a bitch. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to shoot you. It's just a waste of my ammo to do that. Try my flashlight. All right. Let's talk about how I don't understand this. You can see we're in the staff hallway currently. Obviously, it doesn't show you where in that room we're in. We just know we're in it. And here we have an Iron Maiden. Door closes. It rotates. And now we're in the dungeon. The Iron Maiden isn't the room. There's somehow a room there that we can get into that will then connect back into the staff hallway that isn't the Iron Maiden. So that's probably the secret of the dungeon, is there's some way for us to solve that. Oh, God! That thing pushed me into a corner. It almost... almost killed me. We gotta make sure we have our gun ready. Yeah, that was almost, almost bad. This is a retro style game. It came out recently, it's modern. But it's using like the graphic styling of Final Fantasy VII. But it's a Resident Evil experience. All right, kill that bastard. On the other side of the Iron Maiden, it shows us in the hallway. I'm not wasting shotgun bullets on this trap. Nor on this little bastard. Alright, the enemies are dead. Right, we have a computer disc. That's probably how we solve this. I'm not good at computers. Try anyway. Use item. Insert data disk. Legs, arms, head, eyes. The prisoner. So we need to figure out this puzzle. This probably is how we figure out that room. Let me just... Legs, arms, heads, eyes. I'm guessing... We need to figure out how many of all those bits are on display. The Deceptive Serpent. Imprisoned for Crimes Against Nature, 1800 BC. I'm guessing that's two eyes, one head. We'll just start adding as we go. 
So legs, zero. Arms, zero. One head. Two eyes. The mermaid. All right. Uh, no legs. Two arms. One head. That door just fucking open. Oh, oh! Oh! It's whatever prisoner we're trying to figure out. Oh, oh, oh. it's an acid bottle. All right. That's big news for me. That's very important. Bottle containing an antidote. Nothing else in this room. All right, the snake's easy enough. Snake has zero, zero, one, and two, right? Doors are already open, perfect. Get some handgun ammo. Anything else in here? Grenades? The acid was the big prize. That's gonna really help us out. And what's this? The Cyclops. These speed shoes I found are very fast. Shotgun shells. A med kit. Reloading my pistol. Cool, cool. And that just leaves... The wolf. And what's in the bottle? Bandages? One bullet for one heal. That's not too bad. All right. That's the puzzle of the dungeon. How do we get into that fucking room? So right now we're in the dungeon. Is there something else in here? South American gold mine owner links. We've already read that. It's a medieval torture rack. My ankles would never fit into those. Probably for the best. The X on the map means treasure. I don't think we're getting any changes by doing this. That was millennia harder than Mesmer. That was fun. I would have made a good medieval torture guy. Nah, I take that back. How? I don't get it. I don't get it. There's some kind of room that we're not accessing. Being in that room, we were already in there. I didn't have any prompts, but I might be able to shoot the barrel? We'll try this barrel first. You know? It's worth a try. It's worth a try. That was the Cyclops room. Is it just a reference how you need to open door to get to the Iron Maiden? Ash is fighting, uh, Melania. <clears throat> The fact that there's an X in there means there's treasure, or a secret. Sorry, secrets. But usually secrets mean, like, treasure of some kind. So there's something in a room that I'm not finding. Really, this is a barrel I can't break? The other one I could break. 
You're pretty sure the secret's on the other side. So, like... Again, we're gonna look at the map here. We're in the dungeon. There's a room between me and the staff hallway. We go into the Iron Maiden. Open the map. We're in the dungeon. Use the Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden rotates. We exit. We open the map. We're in the staff hallway. There is a distinct room that for some reason we are not accessing. The Iron Maiden I thought was the room, but like the only interaction the Iron Maiden. Oh, I've searched this room. This room has nothing in it. We're in the staff hallway. I've been all over this place. That little room lit up being in the staff room. Yeah, you think so? The little yellow bars mean doorway transition, like screen transition. They've never been the same screen before. But you are right, it is lighting up. Can you close the Iron Maiden? Mm, only if I'm in the Iron Maiden. I guess we could try shooting the button. Nope. Now I only have three bullets left. Time to switch. You know, I'm on my way back to the theater. Does this have acid in it? Use for storing acid. Oh, we have to go get acid. Let's see. Let me check this bucket. Nothing in the bucket. Gotta be extra thorough. See you, poison trap. Not wasting a bullet. <laughs> Damn it. I should have wasted a bullet. I've already searched that. Uh, this is going to put me in the Haunted Manor. I mean, let's enter the Haunted Manor real quick and just look at the map one more time. Uh, army guy. So yeah, it is definitely considered part of Staff Hallway, but because of those little lines, like, keep your eye on Crow's office, Pike's office. Those aren't lining up either. That's interesting. I don't understand. That's the only part of the map that is behaving like this. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Maybe, maybe now I'm understanding. No, 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 no poison, no poison. So this door, that must be the yellow line. So there's something in here. Beyond this door and in front of me. Power for the periphery elevators. I've already done the elevators. We'll check all the paintings. I hate this guy. You know what? Just in case there's something in here. No. I don't understand. You know what? I got it. I figured it out. I got it. I don't like the solution, but I got it. It's going to be a walk. We take the Iron Maiden. We come back around. There's probably something on the back. It blacks out before we see all the way around. We'll re-access the room when we can see the back of it. Alright, we're on Haunted Hilltop. We'll just go back into Haunted Manor. No, thank you. I'm trying to conserve ammo at this stage of the game. Let's look at the back of the Iron Maiden. Because 
because it's, it's saying the treasure's in this room, not the dungeon. So I'm assuming it's on the back of the Iron Maiden in here. No, it just automatically rotates. Man, I really don't understand. There's something in this little tiny ass room. It ain't this box. Not that bucket. Not this painting. Not this plank of wood. Oh. I see it. I got it. God damn it. My blind ass just picked up on it. Finally. You're not tricking me. I know these things on the floor are not safe to pick up. No, 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 no. We're safe in here. I killed all the things. Here we go. Now I'll get my prize. I need the acid that's in the dig site. Ho, 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 dear reader. Magnum ammo. So now. Check mark. God damn. Huh, now I have to clean out. Clean out the haunted manor. I got grenades. There's a lot of stuff in the matter. Like, that wasn't a hard puzzle. I just couldn't see it because of the door. But once I realized, like, it has to be in this section of the map, that's when my eyes were like, alright, we, we're missing something in this room. Before, I thought because of the yellow bar, all the doors are, like, they're scene transitions, you know what I mean? Like, we're changing physical locations. There's, like, a load sometimes. Juke the weird baby. You know, I'm just gonna reset the reset the enemies. The manor I'm worried about, because the books kill me. We'll have to read all the book titles and try to figure out what the puzzle is. Oh, there's other secrets. Squish him up. Alright, I think we're we're in the clear in here. Alright, there's treasure in the haunted manor. Let's try to figure this out. God damn it! Poison trap on the ground. Are there any other poison traps? Or like just floor traps in general. Let's let's clear out the room before we start doing too much exploring. All right, we're good now. We're good. So there is a secret in this room, and I believe the secret is attached to the books. Beginner's Guide to First Aid by A. M. Bulans. We can take the book or not take. The book. We've done all of the painting-based puzzles. We've done the clock-based puzzle. We've done the demon. It's definitely the books that remain. Clocks need winding. I can't remember if there was information here about the books or if that was in another room. That was in another room. All right, what's this one? That's Ambulance. We won't take the book. Inconsequential by Anonymous. Beginner's Guide to First Aid by Bulans. Pulling of the Pin by G Nade. So pulling of the pin, we died. I'm pretty sure it just blows up. Guide to First Aid. Let's take that book. Yeah, ambulance. Ambulance. Let's take that book. It's not moving. Pull it. It's a med kit. Take the med kit. I'm done looking at these books. 
The first one I started with last time was pull the pin grenade. Inconsequential by anonymous. First aid. Pull it. Take it. All right, now that's grenade and inconsequential. Nothing happens. I'm done looking at these books. Man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to do the grenade one. But maybe if it's the last one, we're okay? It's the last one, and it's still saying there's treasure in here. Or rather, secret in here? How's my health? We're at fine. All right. Because it was this last one, we didn't blow up this time. Oh, there's still a red X, though. So that wasn't it. Something else going on in here. Uh, I wonder if now that we have like this, we might be able to do something with the headless vampire. I'm the one that took his head off. I killed him in his sleep. I suppose that's how you deal with vampires. <coughs> Shoot the window. Hmm. No, 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 no. We're not accepting any answers off the internet. The globe's on fire. I don't understand. Did somebody do this? I wonder if the globe on fire means something. There's something wrong with it. Nope. All right, shooting the window doesn't do it. Oh, all the windows now say that. They used to have, like, fake lightning on the other side. It's like, it's not real. I know the gold key is going to be here. I'm not sure what this item's going to be. I wonder if the globe on fire is somehow related to whatever's in here. Potentially the clock? Man, I wish I had more bolts. I always solving up problems with guns. And this one, like, literally, the only way to solve things is with guns. Like, you want to open a thing, you have to shoot it. It's like, why can't I kick it? I can't put out the fire. Hey, ghost, you have any answers for me? No. I might come back to this one. Now that I'm done with the books. I've done all the paintings. Books are done. Don't want to talk to the thing that's going to give me a hint. There's something on Haunted Hilltop, the crypts, Witchwoods. Where is the dig site? Because I have to go to the dig site, too. You want to give a hint? All right, one hint. I'll allow one hint. Well, if there's something outside here, I'm going to have to start cleaning out the monsters out there, too. You don't need to leave the room. Well, I figured as much. I'm just not sure what in there I need to interact with and how. Skullman, staff memo. Man, I'm out of pistol. Shotgun feels too valuable to be wasting on smaller stuff like that. No, 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 no poison trap. Can I corral these things over to uh, a trap? It's a lot of ammo I'm going to be wasting out there. A couple of them are large. You know what? I have grenades. 
I can get a little group together. Bang! I've solved this puzzle. Couldn't move him. Like said, cigarette machine. All right, what am I missing out here? Some little gremlins on the floor. Has to do with the bell, I bet. There's one more big guy. Let's deal with you. Thank you. Thank you, Shotgun. Dungeon Witchwood, Haunted Matter, Crypts. You poison little bastard. Oh, thank God. Handgun ammo. I didn't get poisoned. All right, it's time. Clear out these little guys, try to figure out what I'm missing on this screen. That's a fake out treasure. Okay. Nothing out here can harm me now. We got the bell that rings, but I don't have any numbers to work with as far as I know. What's that? Oh, antidote. Sweet. Ha 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 ha! I don't remember why the number eight was in my head, but the number eight was in my head. I was like, I feel like eight? But where did I read eight? Something about Bell was mentioned with eight. Also, eight's my favorite number. All right. We're done out here now. All right, what the hell are we missing in here? We got a globe on fire. We got a piano. We got goose. Not too much left to interact with. Just the globe on fire. <clears throat> hey ho, hey ho. The book's changed. Deadliest Poison by O.T. Plagueis. I don't think I'll take that book. Deadliest Poisons. A Swift and Sudden... That's right! That's the one I clicked on last time. So all of these are bad books. No touching these books. Alright, one option. More fire on the globe. Nope. goes hoot eight times. The message for the door was, uh, the bird hoots five times, but I guess I didn't revisit the bird. Man, I don't know. Oh, there was another bird. That'll be how we got it then. Because I've touched everything in this game. I thought. I have no idea what the hell we're doing in here. It's written on the time... the time machine? This, there's a time machine there? Do, 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 do. 
Oh, sorry. I see what you're saying. That's how many hints I have left. Like, I could talk to this thing and I'll like, Would you like your fortune read? There's something about blah blah blah, just to put you on course. I've only used it... Well, I clicked on it the first time because I didn't know what it did. The second time was... I... kind of forgot what I was doing. Eh. Eh. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in the Haunted Manor with this treasure. I wonder if the positioning is telling us where it is. I've already done Cage, haven't I? But that's where, like, the map is showing me. Alright, with this one we found and we couldn't use it yet because we didn't have the item in question. I'm a little mushroom boy! I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish! What does you wish for? Oh, you want to improve the range of your flamethrower? We didn't have the flamethrower at the time. God damn it, we had already solved this, and then I forgot about it, and so I was like, oh, I've already opened all the paintings. God damn it. So that's annoying just because we've already done this hours and hours ago, but it was before we had the flamethrower. Like, I did every painting in here already. That's how we already have access to this. Yesterday, not yesterday. On Thursday, I was even saying like, hey, we found the flamethrower mushroom. Do you, anyone remember where he was? We should go back to him now that we have the flamethrower. Okay. All that leaves is the crypt in Witchwood, and then I have to go back to the dig site so we can do the theater. And then we're done. We can go downstairs. So let's head into the crypt in Witchwood. We don't have the item for toilet. It requires an item. Oh no, not this place. Oh, never mind. This is post post puzzle version. Never mind. Hooray this place. This is great. I mean, less great that you're here, buddy. Magnum ammo, hell yeah. And now we're done. <laughs> that was it. I think there's non-valuable ammo out here as well, right? Or did I pick it all up? Looks like I got everything. All right, let's get out of here. All right, that's Witchwood taken care of. Uh, the crypt. Crypt is this one. Trying to remember the crypts. That's right. It's in here somewhere. Ophelia, tragically drowned, daughter, sister, human. I already searched it. I think. Are you can you only go at once? Alright, can only poison us once. It's a drain. It's clearly not working. Whole place will be flooded soon. Juke it. If the kids have trouble, that's how we open the main door. We've already done that. It's a med kit. Oh, thank God. Run low on those. Interesting.
Man, what's left in here? I feel like I've already torn this place apart. We've already done the puzzle on the floor. Is there some other collection? Daughter, sister, human. All capitals on human. Capital D, capital S, capital O. Don't think we can do much with those letters when it comes to north, south, east, and west. Hmm. Can't use any items on the drain. See, the last puzzle room that was frustrating was just because I had already done it and then forgot. I'm glad they specified she was a human. I was worried she might have been like a space alien. You have the answer, but you're not sure how to obtain the answer. Interesting. That means there might be something like in staff notes that we've read in a different location. Was it the med kit? No, it wasn't the med kit. I have a save room through here, so thankfully what I can do is I could check staff mem memos and see if there's anything about cardinal directions. But first, I'll save. Save complete. Medical report, newspaper. Where did I leave the staff notes? That's a staff memo. I want all the staff notes. Sure, here we go. Collection of staff notes. Ventilator in the fairy pond. Drop the bronze key in the fairy pond. Machine chain. Cute little house. Air ventilation system. From the filter pump behind the curtain with the incorrect pressure. Now we've done that already. Crank handle. Swan boats. Anything egg sized. Computer systems require a disk. Read the book titles carefully. You'll need the crank handle. Mermaid cage alcohol. Mine are on vacation. Now, I do need acid. I thought it was at the dig site, but I'm starting to think maybe we need... ...in the mermaid cage. No, I got the bottle from the mermaid cage. But there's no acid in it. Yeah, we got the elevators. Shark, yep. Clocks need winding. Controls the big animatronic crow. Oh yeah, I still need batteries. Southeast underground, so I need battery and then down there. Doors are locked electronically. Mermaid, Cyclops, Werewolf, Serpent. And then Cryptophilia. Wait. Interesting. The dungeon's computer terminal, Ophelia. Ho, ho, ho! The cape is afoot! Tragically drowned. Daughter, sister, human. Human. Your tornado sirens are going off. That's spooky. Humans are known for having two arms, 
two legs, one head, two eyes. Every door in here closes because nothing that nothing suits that in this room. But there's somewhere where that that tracks. Oh, baby. My ability to like immediately recognize where I am in space is poor. It's a stone coffin. Open it. There's a body. It's a beautiful woman. She can't possibly be real. Look closer. It's an incredibly realistic wax figure. I should leave it alone. There's a drawer built in the coffin. Ophelia Pike, Atlanta Westview Hospital. Nurse ID number... Just take a screenshot on that one. I said screenshot. Steam? Fine. Fine. Oh, wait. I'm taking the ID card. I'm still going to write these numbers down just in case. Eh. Zero, six, two, nine, eight. Wait. Nine, six, eight, one. We got some wild weather to the east of Chicago. First Aid Handbook, 1987. Some good information in here. Should be able to put it to good use. Oh, med kits are improved. Alright. Everything that I currently have access to has been completed, with the exception of that red circle in theater, which, if I recall, I believe the dig site has a bucket of a mysterious fluid. Which I believe could be acid. So we want to head to the dig site. So we want to go back to Crow Country. Is the wall of pink like a wall, a front of cotton candy? Cotton candy storm front? What was the secret of the- Frustratingly, the secret in the Haunted Mansion was a secret I found the last time we streamed this on Thursday. And I was like, we don't have a flamethrower, so I can't use this mushroom. That was why. Ah! Gotta look down more. I can get you a bucket of mysterious fluid. I know a guy. I know a guy. I'm running a little low on a bunch of liquids here. It's a large metal tank. I wonder what's inside. Ah, oh, dang. I've already used it. I wonder what's inside. So we poured whatever liquid this was in. You know what it actually could have been? This could have been resin. Yeah, I'm realizing, like, unrealistic, it should have taken hours for that resin to set up like it did when we pulled that up. Which is why my brain was like, oh, it probably, like, scared something off down there, but yeah. Alright, in that case, the mermaid cage is where we need to go. Where's the mermaid cage? I don't remember. You know, that unnamed room means I probably haven't been in it yet. I should probably go through Fairy Pond real fast. Jesus! No! Mermaid cage is where I got the bottle. Then I have no idea where acid is. Ah! Oh, we're in this staff hallway. Oh, it's just another room in here. Never mind. It's kind of like the other one. No, I haven't done the elevators. I was like, I planned on finishing all these things first, but 
If acid is in fact not in that thing, then it's time for elevator. Might as well take the one that's over here. After I save my game. Where was the saving game room? Oh, uh, this guy left. Two bullets left. This is not the save room. This is Tolman's office. I want to go through... I want to go to the lounge. Lounge. Excuse me. What if the police officer's still here? Leon! No, he's not here anymore. Cool. Alright, elevator time. If the acid's not on this screen, which I'm starting to think it's not if it wasn't in that tank, that means it's time to head down. Because every red thing is, at this point, something that we need a golden key for, which is in the mermaid's head, apparently. We need the turn off the electricity to Crow's office. I've accidentally locked the door between the dungeon and the staff hallway, but that was on purpose. So, acid, gold key, gold key, gold key, I locked that on purpose. We're done up here. We have to do the elevators. Let's go. Let's see what spooky things are going on downstairs. The place every character in the game said, don't go down there. You'll regret going down there. I'm warning you, don't go down there. Where are you, elevator? Here you are. No maps for this yet, we just know there's four elevators. Break room? Break room sounds nice. I'll, I'll go to a break room. Hello? Oh, thank God. Med kit, don't mind if I do. More gold ore. Why do I have so much of this stuff? Root access. Big red switch. Light turn green. Guess that's it. That was a big boy. And just like that, I'm out of shotgun ammo, man. What's that? It's an old license plate. Atlanta Falcons, 2663. Good thing this didn't melt. Can't remember the code for the break room security gate. I swear it had a three, a six, a two, another six. Can't remember the order. I know I took the code from an old license plate, but it's gone missing. I think I figured it out. Bunch of green metal tubes. Looks like they have gold inside. Yay. Reach into the garbage. Oh, baby. All right, root access is on, whatever that means. Still have a map for this area. All right, I think I understand why they made it such an obvious one, because you'd be trapped in the room otherwise. Hope I find a map soon.
grab some handgun ammo. We could take a little, little trolley. Yeah, like you're actually locked in that room. You could probably brute force that before too long. Oh, it's a big boy. Flamethrower work good. It's another thing in my face. I swear to God. Uh, root fry. Large pipe to southwest. We'll finish uh, this part of the map before we choose a new location. It's a notebook. July 1988, Tolman's Records. I finally turned off the excavation machines. Bosch didn't give me permission, but I didn't argue. He's obsessed with the poo and the guests. He hasn't answered his phone in days. There was an accident in the park. Bosch had to shut the place down. I don't think he cares at all. Hello, what's all this then? A large tank, acid steadily dripping out of the- that's so mean. This like weird thing is just being dissolved drip by drip. Smell is almost unbearable. Maybe I can use some of that acid. And we're good. Guess I could turn the valve and stop it dripping. I turn it off. There's a sign. Calibration Route 06, Friday. Loving and giving. Giant buzzsaw. Weird green tube. Pull the lever. What's this lever? <laughs> what? Oh, is that golds? Is this where they've been getting the golds? This is where the green tubes have been coming from. Okay, okay, got my acid. This guy's gonna probably be better soon. Nothing else we can interact in here. I wonder if I look at my map and press triangle. Just curious. I could head back up, or I could change locations. So I'm in the bottom left. No, I took staff all the way to get down here. I'm in the top, top left. Okay. I want to go to the northwest. Way northeast. I got like super fast shoes on. Southwest. 
Northeast, I want to go. That's right. I'm, I'm, I remember now. <laughs> I got my quick shoes on. If I'm going to go up, I might as well go up close to my objective. That's it for flamethrower. Root set. Listen, I need everything. I'm running low on everything. Guzzoline. Map! It's a wooden model. Top layer looks like it's supposed to be grass. Bottom layer looks like soil or rocks. Calibration route 07. Saturday. Works hard. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what it means. Oh, two tanks of gasoline. That's my elevator I'm going to take. That looks like a fake out. We're out Sunday. Shows the central underground area. What? Oh, there is there is more. What do we got here? Hey, Ed, did you get my rock shipment? Don't want to answer the phone. What's going on over there? Love, Marf. Please call me back. I miss you. Calibration Route 01 Sunday preserved for posterity. Some kind of machine. It's like a generator. It looks ancient. Wait, wonder what's powering it. I have no idea how to turn it off. It looks fragile, though. Maybe I can just destroy it. Well, it's raining here. I could hear it now. In real life. In, in where I am. It's raining. Alright. Generator's off. Trying to remember what above. Ah, oh, that's Coleman's office. I remember now. All right, I'm going back up. Or do I want to go back up? Let's think about this. Yeah, I feel like while there's definitely secrets down here, like plot wise, I feel like I could go up and finish the top before coming back down. If indeed I can even finish everything up top. I still don't know how to f handle the toilet. Alright, we find ourselves in the staff hallway. Crow's office door should no longer be electrocuted. It's a bunch of bones. No, 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 no poisoning me. Mm. 
No longer electrocuted. Golden key. All right. I have my acid. From where I am, I can exit to the theater. This is not the theater. The staff hallways that have clearly labeled doorways, those those are the ones I like the best. Fairy, she's facing the other way. It's a tank. Use item. Acid. Oh, I put acid in there. Melt. Do I need to do something else before I could dump the acid in? The acid has no effect on the fairy's wooden head. Maybe it's something else I need to do first. Wait, can I flamethrower the head? I thought the head was made of resin. No. No! God damn it, I'm at a flamethrower. Oh, okay, there we go. The notes are like, yes, the fairy's head, resin. Got you now. Key, 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 gonna get a key. Golden key! I don't feel good about it, but it's dumb. Hell yeah. Yeah, might as well just use a pistol bullet. Hey, big guy. Hopefully this isn't, like, the end of the game. Ah, oh, good, he's calling us on the phone. Hello? You know, I never had a plan for all that gold. In fact, it quickly became a problem. We couldn't sell it, basically. Not without arousing a lot of unwanted attention. We had too much of it too quickly. And the shape, those cylinders... Well, it's not the normal process, is it? But then I had an idea. What if it was the normal process? Or what if we pretended it was? So Marvin and I devised a plan. We just needed a site, a disused gold mine. Mar found one in South America, Brazil. And you know what? It worked. For a while, at least. He's gone. Hell yeah. Listen, unless I have a full... Okay, I have a full map. Fine. I'll let you off with that. It's a television. Every few moments, something flashes on the screen. I wish it wouldn't. It's a photograph. There's something strange about the frame. It's a statue. She's quite beautiful. Made entirely of gold. 
Jacqueline Clo Jacqueline Crow 1948-1982 Beloved wife and mother Root through his garbage He had a grenade in there, makes sense He had a grenade in the corner of his room, makes sense Emory University, in recognition of the completion of the prescribed course of study, Edward L. Crow has been admitted to the degree of biochemistry. Hey, Ed, we didn't pass the inspection. I figured out that the ore was homemade. Brazilian authorities want to know where the gold's really coming from. It is getting too dangerous. I'm coming back to Georgia. See you soon. Electronic panel. Control room. No authorized unauthorized entry. There's a button. I just said if I want to go in there yet. Control room elevator switch number code. My first is in the Grinner, but also in Goblin. My second is in Guest, but not in Puddle or Spindle. My third is in Lumber and Goblin, but not in Puddle. My fourth is notable only by its absence. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get get the notepad out. Number code. My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin. So G, or I, or N. But it has to be numbers? My second is in Guest, but not in Puddle, or in Spindle. So no you. It's not. No P, no U, no D, no L, no E, no S. It's either G or T. But it says number code. Maybe if I look at what they're talking about. The shit. It's a magazine. Med kit, take it. It's squirming back and forth. Is it alive? I don't know how I feel about these little wigglers. The gold is inside these things. 9218. Write that down just in case. I like rotting things down. Diary of Edward Crow, age 10 and a half. I'm so excited. Tomorrow, Father and I are going camping up in Condor Country, over the river. Father says it's just a nickname, as there's no condors in Georgia. I'm looking forward to the trip nonetheless. I love being outdoors at night. Sunday. Father and I found something strange while camping. A green shiny thing sticking out of the ground. It's wriggling back and forth like a little bug. Father says it's not a bug, as it's made of metal. We found a second wriggling metal thing a couple hundred feet south of the first one. Father wanted to know what it's made of. He cut off the tip with his camping knife. Inside's a different metal. Looks like gold. Two more shiny things, four in total. Father says there may be more. Father bought Condor Country, as well as a couple of acres on either side. He said we could rename it if we wish. A little, like, background of stars here. <clears throat> so the four of them... ...are Root, Friday, Sunday... I don't know what the other two are called, but, like, those are the four roots, I assume. Oh, there's more than four. Sunday's the original, and then we have Saturday, Friday. I don't know what the other two are going to be called. But there's there's a few roots. Ooh. Oh, Jesus lady. Hi, Natalie. How are you feeling? Not great. 
Yeah, me neither. Is it your mother? Yeah. She died some time ago. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful statue. It's solid gold. Yeah, it must have been very expensive. Your dad really spared no expense, I guess. Did you find him yet? Mr. Crow? No, not yet. I'm still looking for your father, but I have a pretty good idea where he is. Just need to take the central elevator. Mar, what are you going to do? Do you think there... That there could be, I don't know, seven routes? Maybe, there could be. When you find him, what are you going to do? I need to talk with him. Are you going to kill him? What? Whoa! <laughs> the scene in the stupid movie, The Happening, where the old lady sees Mark Wahlberg and says, Are you going to kill me in my sleep? And Mark Wahlberg's reply goes, What? No! Is still the funniest goddamn thing. Like, what a weird take that the, everyone in the room's like, perfect, nailed it, put it in the movie! What? what? No, of course not. Don't think I don't see that gun in your hand. I see it in your face, too. You've already made up your mind. Natalie. I know he's done bad things, very bad things. Perhaps he's beyond forgiveness. But please don't kill him. Bring him to me, okay? Let me speak to him. One way or another, today might be my last chance. Please, Mar. Fine, I won't murder him outright. God, I was gonna murder him outright. File number 3765, guest. Emerged at around 50% root extraction. It varies from specimen to specimen, but they largely s retain a human-like appearance. Most distressing, they're capable of a limited, not verbal form of vocalization. File number 1739, Goblin. Emerged around 55% root extraction. Despite their small stature, I've concluded they are not fit. They are not infants. On the contrary, they may be a senior variant of the guests. The advanced age causing a weaker genetic makeup, which has diminished their anatomy upon appear emergence. File number 6413. Fucking lanky-ass bullshit. Emerged around 60% root extraction. Much of their muscle and fat is missing, but their bones have become elongated. However, the bone mass is spread more thinly, and consequently their bones are brittle. The additionally, without sufficient flesh is cushioning their joints a week. Ah, yes. 1347 lumber. Emerged at 60% root extraction, at the same time as the spindles. Here, the opposite phenomenon can be observed. As lumbers are stiff and stout with excessive muscle and fat. Perhaps they could be explained by why the spindles have insufficient flesh. Ah, 5592. Grinner. Emerged at 70% root extraction. The form is bipedal, but other similarities to a human body are quickly disappearing. In terms of anatomy, each specimen is vastly different from the next. His most mysterious creature we've come across, wood. Ah uh, yes, 3973 Puddle of Bullshit emerges at 80% root extraction. I pray this is my final entry, for I cannot imagine how anything beyond this point would be capable of emergence. The puddle experiences widespread cell necrosis. They are quite literally melting. Alright. Give me my shotgun shells, David. I've seen other types of guests that aren't in there. It's a video feed from a security camera showing something on the screen. It's moving. <clears throat> Talk to it. Hello? What are you? What do you want? Didn't respond. It's a metal panel. Alright, there's one thing without power. It's the center one. That's... 
Okay, I think I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. It's a monitor. Video feed from security camera. Wait a second, that's my car! Looks like Arthur's still inside. Talk to him. Arthur, can you hear me? Mars, is that you? Oh, I can't see. Where are you? I'm in the control room. Control room? Is it... Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I'm jealous. You got to go on a real adventure while I sat in your car pooping myself. How are you feeling, Arthur? Not great. Just stay there, okay? Mar, are you coming back? Are we going to leave soon? My leg melted off. Yeah, sure. We'll, I'll be there soon. Okay, that's good. My penis melted off, too. I don't like it down here. 614. There's a button. Press it. It was not, in fact, the last entry. Book it! It's trash. Metal door. I can't move it. All right. I think I understand. My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin. So it shares the G, the I, and the N. So I'm guessing three? It shares three? Could also be thought that it has, you know, two ends and one end. Like, maybe we should be counting them all up. But let's start off with this assumption. Like, shared letters. My second is in guest, but not in puddle or spindle. So not in puddle or spindle. That means G and T. So two, maybe? It shares two? My third is in lumber and goblin, but not in puddle. So, Goblin and Lumber share the B and the L, but we don't want anything that's in Puddle. So, the L's right at. Is it just the B? Might just be the B. No U's in there? No M's in there? Oh, wait. Got that B? <laughs> no L's allowed? No I's? No N's? So B? One? What happens when the letter comes after I? Three, two, one. My fourth is notable only by its absence. Three, two, one, zero, maybe? It's worth a try. Give it out. Give it a try. There's no zero! Ah! Control room switch number code. My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin. My second's in Guest, but not in Puddle or Spindle. Yeah, we got the four digit code in the camp room. And then the three digit code was what, 612? My fourth is notable only by its absence. I wrote it down, but I, I've been 9218. <clears throat> Worth a try. Ah, oh, the slides. Yeah, good point. <coughs> I mean, might as well try this. <coughs> it was, that was what it was. Jesus! Defeat all four optional mini bosses. <laughs> Let me out. To release security gate, set floor panel code to one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, you bastard. <laughs> Press the button. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. No! No! God damn it. Put the fucking button. Where's one? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh. Ugh. <sighs>